graphing calculator can isolate the angle of the polar complex number, if we press math, scroll over to complex commands, and you'll see that the fourth one is angle. And what this does is it can pull out the angle from a rectangular complex or polar complex number. So if I'm doing a polar complex number like 2 e to the pi times i, we're in radian form, and press enter, the graphing calculator will do is take the value of theta uh, between negative and pos negative pi and up to um, positive pi, exclusive. Um, so it's pulling that theta value out. If we do this again, we hit second entry. But I enter in, um, I, I said we can enter in rectangular complex form, so I enter in 1 plus, I don't know, let's just say i. Well, let's make it more interesting, sorry. So let's say 2 plus, hit second insert, 4i. Okay, so when you press enter here, what's happening? What the graphing calculator is actually doing, um, and I guess we can talk about this in other videos, and we cover these kind of things in complex numbers, it's finding the inverse tangent of b over a. And b, of course, is your 4, right? That's the coefficient of the imaginary part of the complex number. And a is the real part. So it's taking the inverse tangent of the ratio of b over a. And that's how the calculator is doing that. And it gives you this result. Um, this is not, of course, a lesson about what these things mean. Uh, just how uh, to make these things operate on graphing calculator. So I hope this is helping a little bit. Thanks.